I'm going to get ready for the wedding and I'm going to bring you guys with me. Okay, I'm going to have a shower now. Let's rock and roll. So the wedding is at 6 in the afternoon, but I need to go to my cousin's house to do her makeup. So I need to get ready. I have to prep all the things that I need to bring with me so I can do her makeup and then we go all together to the wedding. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna start. So I'm gonna use this Laneige Le Perfecta. This is going to minimize the appearance of pores and now I want to concentrate this around here which is where I have my bigger pores. If this one leaves my skin feeling very soft and even. This one has mint, I think. Mint, water and pine. Doesn't smell minty at all. It's a very clean, soft smell. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my sponge, which I forgot to do, and I'll be right back. Something that I've been trying out this week and I love, I absolutely love, is to use setting spray as primer. I don't know if it's because of this one, but it's controlling the oils of my face brilliantly. It's incredible, I love it. Going to add another primer, this one is to illuminate the higher points of my face. The one that I'm using is the Bigger But Light Priming Filter. It gives you that glow that I love. I like to use this one a lot during summer whenever I, like when I'm tan and I don't want to wear anything. I just put it like around here, my nose. I'm sorry if I don't talk too much, but I need to focus. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to mess up. So yeah, I'm going to this wedding. It's from a family member. I haven't gone to a family member wedding since I was, I don't know, 17, 18? Like, a long, long time ago. I think the last time that I went to a wedding was two years ago, like two summers ago. Um, for foundation, I'm gonna go for something that I know I like and it works, and it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I got this brand new one yesterday. It's in the color 3N1, ivory beige. I swear to God. Okay, I'm gonna try. If not, I'll just have to give it up. I normally use the one and two ecru, but because I did a fake tan, I think this one is going to suit me better. If not, I'll just. Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put a bit on my hand with a brush. I'm going to start putting it all over my hair. He color seems fine. Okay, let me. Yeah, the color seems alright. Need to blend really, really well down my neck. So I'm gonna wear a pink dress. It is very similar to this pink. So I think I'm gonna go for a smoky eye with some neutral lips, like with some nude lips. Which is the thing that I'm enjoying the most. I used to be a red lip girl. But now, I'm all about the new, the color seems fine, right? I hope it is fine. I'm going to add a little bit more for my forehead and to apply a second layer. Yeah, I used to go for red lips always because light pinks and all that I never do because I look super weird with very light colors. But I recently discovered the marvelous world of brown, and nude and all that so i'm enjoying that a lot what's your favorite lipstick color like your go-to lipstick color because i would do red lip to go to class like when i was in college if i wanted to do my makeup i would do like a very minimal makeup like no eyeshadow of course but then i would put some bronzer and my red lip i'm gonna go with this sponge to make sure that everything is set in in place I was a bit worried because whenever I... I don't know what it is about foundation. When you go on a website, especially with the Estee Lauder, whenever I try to find a match, a lighter shade would appear to be darker than a darker shade. And I was so confused, like, what do I do? Should I trust the number? Should I trust the picture with the color? 
I'm gonna do another layer, but this one I'm doing it with my sponge. For concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Kim Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Even though I would have preferred to use Ginger, but oh well, I'll illuminate. What am I doing? Why did I apply this like that? I think I'm going to do a night at a time because it's really hot and it's going to dry very fast. I want to be able to blend this one because it's too bright for me right now. So I'm wearing this pink dress that is style I got from ASUS. I don't think the dress is going to be available anymore because I got it for that wedding that I told you before that two summers ago. If it is, I'll put the link. I was thinking about buying a new dress, but I only wore that dress once, so I really like that dress. It is a beautiful dress and I wanted to, you know, be able to use it one more time. That wedding that I went to was from some friends, so no one has seen the dress and it's fine. I don't have pictures on Facebook. I feel like we women in general, we had it easier before Facebook. For men, it's so easy. They have what this one suit. You don't need to be constantly buying dresses. Not that you have to do anyway, but it's like this social pressure of not wearing the same dress to different events with the same people. It's a bit ridiculous in my opinion, but... But on the other hand, I feel like it's nice to once in a while treat yourself with a new dress and like the excitement of getting ready for that like event or wedding or whatever it is. So yeah, it's not that bad, you know? <laughs> So now I'm going to set my concealer and the rest of my face with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Oh. No, I think I'm going to do a little bit of contour before I set it because I'm going to do a cream contour. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Stick in the color Amber and I'm going to use this contour brush to apply my contour. Just a tiny bit because I don't like to... Oh, it is a bit wet still. Wow, it looks so bad. Just a tiny bit. I don't really like to do a very heavy contour. It looks patchy as hell. <sighs> I cleaned my brushes this morning and apparently that one wasn't very dry. Okay, I think I'm done with my contour. I'm going to put some foundation on top because it's getting patchy. See, every single time. A few days ago, I was thinking about video ideas for the channel. Things to do to get ready for an event. Like I was planning on making like a to-do list a, and a not to-do list. And apparently I'm doing all the things that I shouldn't do when I want to get ready for a wedding. Like using new makeup that I've never tried before, like cleaning my brushes the same day. So things like this happened. I almost got my hair cut this morning, which is something like you should never ever do in case you don't like it and looks bad. But anyways, I'm going to set my concealer. I need to set my whole face, even though I like a more dewy look, but I'm going to be wearing this makeup for so many hours and need to keep my oil under control. What's the time? I need to speed up a bit. I'm going to do my eyes now and then I'll finish the rest of my face, just in case. And for this one, I think I'm going to do a beauty marks something because... Yeah, I'm going to use this orange and this brown shade, these two together, and I'm going to blend that all over my crease. I'm going to darken the two sides of my eyes with this. I'm going to go... This, I'm just mixing the colors, so I don't need to be blending them as much. I'm going to put it here and here. Because I'm going to do like a halo eye here and then I start blending it to connect it with the other side. If the eyeshadow comes to the center, it doesn't matter because we're going to put concealer on top, so it's going to be fine. And to mix everything together, I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and start blending it. Okay, now I'm going to darken the edge a little bit more. I'm going to mix this, this darker shade. And very gently and very lightly, I'm going to press it on here. And then very slowly, I'm going to make like a little V, the tiniest amount. 
blend everything together. This is what it's looking like right now. I'll clean that up later with concealer. Okay, now for the most nerve wracking part, which is putting concealer on top of that. I am. I've done it twice in my life and it wasn't that bad. It looked. It looked pretty good, I must say, but there's always a chance of me messing up and I have 90%. Okay, now I'm going to put some concealer here and pray for me with this small front brush. I don't know why I'm showing you now this brush. I haven't shown you any of the brushes that I'm using, but now all of a sudden I said that I wanted to show you this brush. I'm going to take a tiny amount of concealer and I'm going to start very close to my lash line. <sighs> now with my finger, I'm going to blend it out. Not bad. Now I'm going to use the same thing to the other eye and that's when I mess up. Again, very close to the lash line and work your way up. I went too far out. And I need to check because I have this eye, it's more hooded than this one. Like this one's normal, but this one's a bit... I need to bring this one a bit more up on this so they look even because then in pictures I have like this crazy big eye and then this one's like very small that's another reason why this freaks me out because I know they're not gonna be even like ever I should just relax and live my life but my OCD card tells me to keep trying okay now that I have blended that out I'm going to take this shoe size again and I'm going to blend the edges to make it a bit more seamless. Now that I have the eyes kind of, I'm going to use this pink shimmery shadow. I'm gonna do it with my finger and I'm going to press it on top of that concealer. And I integrate it with the sides. This is a very rustic makeup tutorial. Okay, now with a small brush, I'm going to tap it with right at the center. I'm going to use this palette, this gold shade, and I'm going to press it on the center. There's no nothing, right? I'm going to do it with my finger. On top of that. And again, I'm going to do the bottom. On top of that, I'm going to add this Charlotte Tilbury color, color, color Chameleon in Amber Haze very lightly to give it a bit of sparkle I think I'm going to leave it at that now with a I'm going to use an angle brush and I'm going to line do a tiny bit of a flick with this dark, like with this black eyeshadow, like the little cut eye, very small. It's so recording, but I highlighted my brow bone with this color. This is from a very old palette. This is the Revolution Makeup, Makeup Revolution. I only keep this palette because of that color. That's how much I like it. And I love to use this one to put it under my brow bone and to illuminate my inner pore. Now I'm going to do my brows and then I'll finish the rest of my face and then I need to do my hair. 10 to 3. I have an hour and a half to do everything. Okay, one brow done. Let's get to the other one. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palette. Bronzer on here. When I did the review, I told you guys that I was a bit confused because I saw 50% of the people would love it and saying that it was so pigmented and half of it, like the other 50%, they would say that it didn't have pigment or something. But what I've seen in all the comments that I have read and my experience with the palette, I feel like they probably had some inconsistencies with the palette and also, it has this top layer that maybe it was like too pressed. It took me a while until I started getting pigment from the palette. I'm going to put some bronzer on the sides of my nose. And now to make my favorite part, highlighter. 
going to highlight my face. For highlight, I'm going to use this one. Now, last thing, my eyelashes. I'm going to pull them and put some mascara. Mm -hmm. I feel like this video is going to be so boring because I don't talk at all. I don't know if I'm going to post it. And for the mascara, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara first to separate and elongate them. And then I'm going to go with the coat of the NARS Climate to give it a bit more volume. The ugly mascara face. Okay, so I need to do this very quickly because they're going to pick me up in a few seconds so this is the finished look i'm wearing this 30s style dress with these like little bag which i have had for ages it's a white velvet bag it's very thin very cute very you know and i'm wearing this cute little sandals from a local shop i did my hair but i don't think i'm going to be able to show you how it looks from the back so this is the back of the dress, it's like a very like a low back dress and the hair, I think you can see that, yeah it kind of, you can see a bit. And yeah this is the whole look, um, the makeup, maybe if I come here a bit, yeah they did this halo eye. And yeah, this is Rini's product. I feel like I've done this very quickly and but very sloppy, I don't know. I hope I did justice. I need to go because I need to check if I have everything with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.